Ring, ring. Krista is calling. Hello. Hello, William. It's so great to see you. <laughs> So close yet so far. Yeah. But we've been enjoying you on Krista Calling, her Eurovision web series. Yes, it's been so much fun, you know. Um, in this crazy year, the pandemic, I'm just really happy to be here yeah. working for Eurovision Song Contest, being in the bubble, you know. I have missed this, you have missed it, we have all missed it, so it's great to be here. And how did it come about? Did they know you were living in the Netherlands now? Yeah, it's it's just so much fun. They asked me if I wanted to come and work and I was like, hey, what do you think? <laughs> and then I also been doing a Eurovision show for Out TV. Oh. And they also called me like, oh my God, Krista, you're living in Amsterdam now. And I'm like, yes. So I have had an amazing Eurovision spring doing the shows for these two, two, two things. So yeah, I'm super happy. And what's the highlight been for you? What should people watch if they haven't checked it out yet? Oh, um, wow, we have so much good stuff but also much good stuff like good stuff coming up because mm. uh, after Eurovision we are gonna cure your Eurovision post depression Ooh. by showing you uh, the Eurovision song celebration that comes one week after but in that yeah we, we were showing all the live on tape performances oh, wow. that the artist made but we also have funny clips there from the turquoise carpet. <laughs> Turqu I know it's turquoise, but you know, I think it's more fun to say turquoise. So a lot of fun content from there. And another fun things that we just couldn't fit into the Krista Calling episode. Mm. So we have it we have it there. You looked so, amazing on the turquoise carpet. Like a hot pink highlighter with fringe. Yeah. Wow. I love the fringe because then it's, it makes me feel alive. So you have to dance a little. Not, the dress looks better in movement. Mm, definitely. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah, I think in Krista Calling, the best is yet to come okay. and it comes it comes later well I hope this stays <gasps> do you know what happens tonight um, what I'm talking to Carola <gasps> like Carola oh, Carola my goodness Swedish Carola yeah I called her and she answered wow that is fantastic yeah. I well, love her. We'll be watching that. Yes. Now, people may not know this, but you have a, not a complicated, you know, a complicated situation because you have a young daughter, you live in Amsterdam, and your revision's in Rotterdam. So how are you balancing all of these things? Yeah, uh, it was crazy because when they asked me if I wanted to come and work for your revision, I was like, yeah, totally. But then my daughter, Lisi, was only a few months old and I was thinking, oh my God, can I go then and how it's going to work mm. out? But I'm so happy that we managed to, to fix this because uh, she is just uh, doing great. Great. She's with daddy <laughs> and a little with grandma and grandpa, so it has worked out well. But I'm driving, I've been driving back and forth, Amsterdam, Rotterdam, it's one hour, it's okay, oh. it's not a problem. But yeah, I'm balanced, I'm working, I'm breastfeeding, I'm driving, <laughs> it, I feel like a super mommy. You really are, I love that we were able to use the word breastfeeding on weebyblogs.com, it's amazing. <laughs> you have never done that before. Oh <laughs> Always the first with you. And it's funny, we first met actually in 2012 at Eurovision in concert, and it was literally one of our first interviews ever, we didn't have a YouTube channel and it was you and you were this burst of energy and I was like oh my god your vision so intimidating but actually you were so lovely and so you kind of baptized me by fire I don't think I ever told you this no. you were the first one and it it really set the tone for our coverage so thank you that's so nice. I did not know that this was the first year vision for you yeah, doing videos because we were so shy um, but you just were this personality oh my god it was ding dong all about the ding dong oh, wow you know I love it so much and for me like your vision that made my whole career mm -hmm. I'm forever be grateful I love it so much it was so much fun and it's so fun because I also remember you from that like <laughs> BB blogs it was like it was a thing you know it's interesting because UMK Uda Ken Musa Ken Kiel Pai Lu that was the first national selection I ever did anything on air yeah. and I messed up my points the first time no. it was so embarrassing and people no. on social media were so mean they were they like were oh, they were awful. No, hey come on okay but William seriously Finnish is the fourth most difficult language oh. in the whole world World. I believe so, it. Yeah, so if it's hard for you to say Ure Musik in Kilpailo, hey, seriously, be nice to him because it's, it's a difficult language. Kitos opeasta shosta. That is the one thing I can say. Because it's usually about you being the host. Yeah. But this year, you had a, a great replacement. Yes. What was it like watching him? Oh, yeah. It, um, well, um, I, I had just given birth, so oh I was definitely not ready to host Ure Musik in Kilpailo. Um, but it was... It was 
actually nice to watch it. I was watching at home with the little Lizzie in my arms and uh, with my Mr. Amsterdam. And it was, I enjoyed the show. It was nice to watch and relax. But of course, I also missed it, you know, yeah. because I'd done it for so many years. So I also felt a part of me was like, I want to be there. But a yeah. the part of me was like, I'm also fine with watching it. And I think, you know, I, I, you, UMK also needs to, to move on mm. and develop and I mean I cannot host it forever even though I won't do and but, should uh, but uh, you know but ch change is good mm. and now I'm here in the bubble so I'm you know I'm happy I get my my share of Eurovision anyway and a highlight though of UMK was when you were kind of talking to your daughter yeah, <laughs> yeah because that was fun because I still got to be a little part of it so yeah. that was really nice it was a nice flavor we're like the continuity is here the Queen is still alive and slaying yeah wow it was so funny because I don't remember when we recorded that like Lizzie was like seven weeks old or something wow. like, it was crazy wow. but they're like getting her into show business <laughs> <laughs> but you know a lot of people say like in our team here at Wee blogs we're like she's probably the best mother because you have a warmth a humor and a patience Aww. like has your mr. Amsterdam has he complimented you lately on this yeah but I think it's fun because I think we we um, we are quite a good team ah. because I am more the, the hippie mother. I okay. like to play with her and have fun with her, <laughs> sing for her and, you know, I play with her a lot. I love that. Oh. And then he is more like, oh, the routines and, and the, you know, ah. the food and he's more like this because I can be a bit, yeah. I'm a little hippie. Oh, I really. love that. <laughs> but I think it's, so I think it, it's good, you know, we're, we're a good team together. And I think, yeah, we just want to do what's best for Lisi. So is Lizzie speaking Finnish and Dutch? So the thing is, because Swedish is my mother tongue, ah, so I speak Swedish to Lizzie, okay. uh, Mr. Amsterdam speaks Dutch, mm. and then we speak also English together, so she gets three languages, wow. and maybe Finnish then comes later, but now it's just enough with three languages. <laughs> That's a lot of language going it's on. a lot of that. So you forgot you one language, though. <laughs> <laughs> but you also speak body language, okay? I speak yes. a lot of body language, yeah. Your Rotterdam, like, you paid homage to Rotterdam in your last UMK kind of opening yeah. act. That was the highlight for me of you at UMK. It was so good. Oh my God, I loved that song, actually. So and I thought it was a really funny number, you know? It was everything to me because, okay, I'll tell you this. My biggest dream all these years in UMK was to come down from the roof, <laughs> down from the ceiling. I came in a big anchor with my hot sailor boy yes. and I was like, I can die happy now. <laughs> and uh, we were singing about going to Rotterdam to win. We had space cakes and tulips and bicycles <laughs> in our shows. You know, it was, I love it. I'm very proud of that number. I thought it was uh, really great. And you, of course, do more than just UMK. You, you are on other TV shows. Do you want to tease what you've been doing lately? Ooh, yeah, so I've been uh, a judge at Finland's Got Talent now for two seasons. That has been amazing. Uh, I was, uh, yeah, I was participating in Masked Singer yes. in Finland. And Masked Singer also, it's a, it's a huge success. I mean, people love that concept. In mm. every country, it feels like it's a huge uh, success. What was your character? So my character was the magic hat. Oh my god. And I was super pregnant. I was just about to give birth when I participated and I had this big hat and it was like 10 kilos. Oh ah, my I, I, it was it was horrible to wear it. It was hot and oh. this big uh, thing, you know, because I was so I had such a big belly. Awful. But it was fun. It was it was Could you breathe? Not so good. Oh my god. <laughs> no, but it, I mean it was okay. And you know what? I'm used to show business. Mm. It always hurts, it's always hot, it's always horrible, <laughs> but you just have to live through that. Do you think you might be hosting Eurovision next year in Helsinki? Ooh, wow, I mean, I would love that. That's actually one of my biggest dreams, to host Eurovision Song Contest, but as you all know, it's, uh, it's quite <laughs> difficult, but it can happen, you never yeah. know. Um, I really love Blind Channel. Uh, I told you already that I voted like crazy for Blind Channel in UMK. I sat in Amsterdam and voted because I have a Finnish phone number so I could. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so no, but I love the boys and I must say that I definitely think they're gonna be top 10. I really mm, believe in that. I really believe in that. So, mm, so yeah, but we'll see. I hope that Eurovision will come to Finland anytime soon before I'm a grandma. Oh, no. But they can still be on stage. But Absolutely. before everybody dance. <laughs> nice to talk to you. Okay, oh, it's so nice. Really it's like a reunion. Flow. We I do. Because really I just, I view you as like my Eurovision sister in a way. Because yeah. like you've always been so protective but and supportive and you sweet. You know, because we kind of started out together exactly. then. Exactly. Because, you exactly. know, Eurovision in concert then, it was in Amsterdam, right? Yeah. So then that was the first thing for both of us. Yeah. I had just won uh, UMK 
and went out on a promotion tour. You were, and, and you promoted. Oh my God, I promoted. Yeah. But then I remember that Amsterdam Calling was one of the first ones that I mm. did. So, so basically, Epic. we are like, we started oh, the same oh my time. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this screen. After the pandemic, it will be a kiss. Oh my God, next year, then we're gonna hug and kiss, definitely. Oh, God. oh, speaking of which, my sister is obsessed with Joel from Blind Channel. Yeah. Like, cause he's so tender and sweet. He we is. were surprised at how lovely they are as people. Yeah. Because, you know, you see the rock exterior, you may have stereotypes, but has that been your experience in the Finnish language? Because we just speak English with them, but like in their native tongue, are they as sweet? They are super sweet. I, they're super sweet boys. And I, yeah, I have, you know, you're, you're totally correct about that. They look like rough and ru like really <laughs> like that, but they're super sweet. It's always like, like Mr. Lord is the same, you know, oh. when you see him, oh, super scared. Oh my God. But then he's also like super, super gentle and super sweet. So it's, it's something with the rock and roll boys. Ah, gentle and sweet. It describes you, my queen. I am so glad we could connect now at the end of Eurovision because yeah. you've been so busy running around and like. Yeah, I've been. I've been super busy. So, but I'm, I'm really happy because I was actually I was thinking about you. That's how crazy it is that we haven't met yet. Yeah. So now, like but two trains going in different directions. But yeah. yeah. Ooh, girl. Now we have the, the train crash right here. I hope you get home safe tonight. We're gonna let yes, you go so you can get back to little Lizzie, who yeah. is adorable, by the way. I'm gonna go home and breastfeed her. Yeah, she's so <laughs> cute. I love her. We have been listening to Eurovision music. Ooh, what's her favorite? All the time. Well, I must say that she really likes uh, Malta's song because that is so catchy. So every time I put it on, she's like dancing like that, like crazy. So she likes so the beat. Sweet. <laughs> Krista Calling is the show. You can check it out online, Eurovision.tv and YouTube. She is an icon interviewing Kerala tonight. Oh my god, yeah, that's so nice. Be sure and check it out. Yeah, Krista, you should. Thank okay. you so much. And thank you and thank you to all the Vlogs uh, readers, viewers. I love you and I hope that we will meet soon live somewhere at yes. the Eurovision concert. <laughs> it's as close as we're gonna get. <laughs> Bye.